our event. A very good morning once more. My name is Patience Shikwambana. I'm the Chief Operating oh, Officer of for yep, I can hear you level. Federation in Olympic. You're all welcomed at the Olympic House. I can see this. As starting. a norm, we acknowledge the presence. Yes. News headlines, okay? Shut up. Waiting for the minister. Waiting for the minister. Deputy minister. Let me also acknowledge our one and only Dr. Sam Ramsemi. May I also acknowledge our board? Thank you very much there, Kendall. Well, welcome back to our viewers on SABC News Channel. Uh, I'm sure you can see some of the live pictures inside Umam Patience Shikomban from Saskok has read began. Uh, congratulations. Well, we're welcoming everybody. But before you go in, I know there's still some welcoming uh, greetings. I'm going to take you through to some of the, uh, the men and women who, you know, I think this lady, a lot of people know she used to be that president of Saskok, Ms. Hajira Khan. She's also, I think, Winter Games, Winter Olympics, uh, uh, head of uh, Chef Michon for the Winter Olympics in South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, welcome to SABC News. Let me start with Ms. Khaji. I see everyone's still standing here it's a huge announcement we're waiting for another honored guest we're waiting for the deputy minister of sports and recreation mr hertus tyson and i believe he's on his way once again it's olympic here and i know we always there's always a hub of activity here at sasco house um a nation, an expected nation is, is standing by to hear the names inside I, I yes i think so i think so but i think the public will be very happy and pleased well, with that, Kendall, I'm going to take our viewers straight into uh, Mom Patient Shikwamban is standing by to, well, in fact, I think the sports minister has just arrived. Let's take those live pictures for him, uh, with him as he comes in um, to, 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 to the conference as well. Let's, let's take him right now. Here he arrives. Oh, that's the sports, uh, Deputy Sports Minister, rather, Mr. Khair Uwesteisen, welcoming Stripe, uh, right here at Sasko House, greeting some of the dignitaries. Mr. Uwesteisen, Minister, let me grab you as you walk in. Another huge announcement, Team South Africa, they'll be representing the country at the Olympic Games 2016. Um, great expectation from a country. Absolutely. It's a, it's a wonderful day and yet one of those achievements that we demonstrate so ably in sport that we have the power to unite the nation. You know, the entire nation is going to celebrate today the announcement of this wonderful team. 137 athletes qualified under stiff conditions to go and represent our country. But secondly, Team South Africa is one team representing one nation in the very month of the father of our nation, Nelson Mandela. What a wonderful opportunity these youngsters have. And just a couple of days before, well, that man's a great day itself. 18th, the 18th of July, his birthday. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. I think the timing is good, and it augurs well for us going forward as a nation. Ms. Khadro Sazen, Deputy Minister, thank you very much for speaking to us on SABC News Channel. Let me let you go inside as the continue the, uh, the broadcast right here live from Sasko House in Melrose. Uh, uh, in fact, my director tells me that the video is currently on right now. That's obviously Team South Africa's video to the Olympic Games. Let's cross straight into it, and thereafter, the big announcement. The names of the team representing South Africa. We expect about 200 names to be revealed. I'll take you inside where it's happening. You achieve whatever you want to achieve. The world number one wins here very comfortably indeed. And that so, so impressive. Yeah, in my mind, I just I've, I see myself winning. You know, that's 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 just what it is. You know, I have to I have to at least retain my title and may possibly add to that. It's unbelievable. It's a shocking upset. Every sportsman's dream is to go to the Olympics. Being part of Team South Africa, that's going to be truly special. It's definitely you know, something special and you know, the general public would never get to do that. So it's something that, that uh, you, know, you can take with you for years to come. Richard Murray from 
of South Africa wins. An astonishing performance, and look what it means to him. Touching the wall, yeah, it's as uh, life-changing as them. What a performance. Celebrate. Well done, Cameron Vandenberg. Yeah, winning gold is, as I said, one of the proudest moments of my life and uh, something that we would like to repeat this year. When we each and every one of us go on our blocks, we all know that it's going to be intense. South Africa win it. What a boost for South African athletics. Absolutely fabulous. I always want it all and uh, gold, is, gold is what I'd want. I need to perform well. I need to um, go out and try and get that medal. I'm very focused and I'm, I'm ready to go. You know, there's often that cliche of leaving it all out there, but there's no bigger place to leave it all out there. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, where Africa's best performing country plays 23rd in the medal tables. And obviously, after the games, we had to come back and start the business. And it was business, but not business as usual. Let me warmly welcome our CEO to come and give us the state of readiness to Rio. Over to you, sir. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Deputy Minister, President, and I'll say all protocol observed. Um, the journey started immediately after London, 2012. Preparations with the athletes started then. Uh, we launched the Operation Excellence Program to help prepare athletes uh, to get to the stage. If you watch that video clip, you heard the athletes in terms of their passion and their desire to get to the Olympic Games. Uh, there's always question about selection policies and criteria, and we've always maintained as an organization, these things are debated and put into place in agreement with our membership, and then we select. So the athletes that are announced today have met that criteria. If there's a need for change, like my president says, we can debate that going forward and make whatever necessary changes there are in order to continue to ensure that the athletes that we select are quality athletes that will give off their best and return the kind of results that you're looking for for a winning nation. And that's really what we want to achieve. In terms of preparations, that goes on on an ongoing basis. we excited that we're announcing the team today. Um, after this, the athletes and officials will have to get going with lots of documentation that they need to sign and agree to uh, while they focus on continuing to prepare to participate. Uh, the team assembles on the 21st next week and the first batch of the team leaves on the 23rd. So things are rolling on and the games are around the corner. So we are quite content that we've done our job. Uh, we're quite happy to face the criticism, the questions. We'll answer them as best as we can. But what we're announcing today is what we believe will represent the country uh, as very good ambassadors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, CEO. A round of applause again for the CEO. He, he's always ready, and he'll be ready to answer any questions that you're going to ask today. The moment that we've been waiting for, all of, us are, all of us are eager to know who's in the team. Let's all put our hands together as we welcome the Honorable President of SASCOC, Mr. Gideon Sem, to come and address and unveil the team. Over to you, sir. Honorable Ambassador and the one accompanying you, thank you very much for being here. Um, it's always important for us to know that you're on our side. Though you will not be in Brazil and Rio, you'll be here telling the story from here. Uh, thank you very much for that. Deputy Minister Gert, 
always a pleasure to have you amongst us. Uh, Dr. Sam Ram Sammy up in the corner there. Well, this is part of your show, the Olympics. You've been around there and you've been doing this for so many years and so. Ajira, deputy, thank you very much for coming. Les, thanks for coming. And all our sponsors here from, from the Lotteries Commission. You heard last time when we stood here uh, what they did uh, to help us and all our other sponsors, but patients mentioned them and Tabby will probably do that the same thing. There's great excitement around what we're doing now. Real great excitement. You will recall that we've been on a journey and as the CEO rightly said, it's been a long journey. We made it a point many years ago that this country can be a force to be reckoned with on the world stages of sport. But we had to do something about it, and that was to say to ourselves, let us have a criteria that will enable us to do that. It has not been easy, and it's still not easy. But what we want to present to you today are athletes or men and women with amazing stories. And this is what we are appealing to the South African public to do for us, is to follow these athletes and at the later stage, Gene will explain to you how you can do that. But for now, we are saying to the South African public, these are men and women with amazing stories. And those are the stories that are going to motivate us as South Africans and them as they listen to the comments that we make as they represent our country with pride. I just want to share with you some, some of those moments. Right from the top, the man who's going to lead this is a man who defied death and came of the, out of the ICU to lead this team today. These are the amazing stories that we constantly ask people to concentrate and focus on. Amazing stories around Chad. We don't want to go into the deep things of that, but think about the man as he prepares himself now. Alistair Hatfield is one of the coaches. He's been around the swimming pool for ages, and he's part of this team, and he has a long story to tell us. Custer has been through it. And Custer has gone out of it and is now ready to show the world that here I am. Say what you want to say. Lindsay Hanakom, the 400 meter hurdler, speaking to him yesterday at the High Performance Center, I said, Putty, who legged it? Coming all the way from the Western Cape, he said, Mr. Sam, I left everything behind in the Western Cape. And I came to Gauteng because I had this dream. There's Louvo. I still recall the day when I sat with him in Pal in Bekwini on a huge stadium there, just the two of us. And Louvo is here. He's here. Think about LJ Fonseil. After London, LJ came to me and he said, Yena Manier, I said, yeah, don't say Manier. Yena Manier, I let you down. He knew that he failed there. And LJ is back, saying this time around, I want to show you. Look at Bridget. It's been an up and down since London. And Bridget is back, and she's got a story to tell. And what about people like 
Kate Roberts. Kate Roberts arrived at the HPC and said, I'm looking for a job. And they told her, but we don't have money to pay you. And she said, that's fine, let me work. And look at the athlete that is preparing now. South Africa, these are the men and women that will wear the green and gold and go out to Rio and represent as well. And once again, we ask you to focus on those performances. Banyana Banyana has been through it. Our under 23 has been through it. The sevens with Neil, and I know that Neil has been agonizing to put his final squat on the field. He didn't know whether he must put in Kobe. <laughs> he didn't know whether he must put in whoever. But when I met him at Stellenbosch, he said to me, we will put a team together. And here they are. And they are there to say to us, we're going out, CEO of SAFA. You've done what you could do for your two teams. Thank you very much. Here they are now, ladies and gentlemen, and they say to you, stand behind us. I think you are correct, Tabi, by saying that we've come to this point now, and it's up to you, South Africa, and your support of these athletes. And so, look up at the screen as we present to you the athletes, the men and women that are going to come back with their heads held high because they would have represented us with honor. I thank you. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for, the announcement of the team that will represent South Africa at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Aquatics. Julia Vincent, diving. Michelle Weber, marathon swimmer. Chad Ho, marathon swimmer. Dylan Bosch, swimming. Miles Brown, swimming. Calvin Justice, swimming. Jared Cross, swimming. Douglas Erasmus, swimming. Chad Leclo, swimming. Michael Mayer, swimming. Matthew Mayer, swimming. Christopher Reed, swimming. Sebastian Rousseau, swimming. Bradley Tandy, swimming. Cameron Vandenberg, swimming. Sean Adrianser, manager. Graham Hill, head coach. Dean Price, coach. Cedric Finch, coach. Igor Omeltchenko, coach. William Sherritt, diving coach. And Alistair Hatfield, marathon swim coach. Athletics. Alistair Conley. Karina Horn. Wenda Nell. Anel Oosthuizen. Justine Palfreman. Lenique Prinsloo. Dominique Scott. Casta Semenya. Tolufelo Tipe. Sunet Filyun. Antonio Alcana. Stefan Britz. Enrico Brenchis. Willem Kutzen. Elroy Galant. Leroux Haman. Lindsay Hanekom. Anaso Jobotwana. Tokiso Liotela. Luvo Manyonga. Hotso Mukwena. Stephen Mokoka. Mark Mandel. Clarence Munyai. Jacob Rosani. Ruswal Samai. Lebohang Shange. Akani Simbine. 
Wayne Sneeman, Wade van Niekerk, Reinhard van Rensburg, Rocco van Rooyen, LJ van Zeil, Christine Kalma, Marathon, Lebu Palula, Marathon, Ervet van Zeil, Marathon, Lungi Le Gong, Marathon, Lusapo April, Marathon, Sibusison Zima, Marathon, Peter Lawrence, Manager, James Muloy, Marathon Manager, Irma Reineke, Coach, Marina van Niekerk, Coach, Paul Horris, Coach, Dersius Liebenberg, Coach, Badminton, Jacob Malikal, Chris Dednam, Manager Coach, Canoeing, Bridget Hartley, Craig Mustard, Manager Coach, Cycling, Kyle Dodd, BMX, Alan Hatherley, Mountain Biking, James Reed, Mountain Biking, Anli Kachelhofer, Road. Ashley Mulman Pasio, Road and Time Trial. Daryl Impey, Road. Louis Menkes, Road. Brett Coates, Manager. Jonathan Chislett, BMX Coach. Carl Pasio, Road Coach. Douglas Ryder, Road Manager. JP Jacobs, Mountain Bike Mechanic. Gary Blem, Road Mechanic. Equestrian Tanya Seymour Ingeborg Sane Manager Coach Kirsty Taylor Groom Football Men Rivaldo Kutzir Keegan Dolly Jody February Tumelen Kune, Tertius Malepe, Menzi Masu, Eric Matoho, Diolin Mekwa, Ishmael Mgonyama, Abubaka Mubara, Maposa Mudiba, Debucho Muerane, Tashrik Morris, Lebu Mutiba, Gift Mutuba, Mutobim Vala, Levi Ramajwe, Manager, Owen Dagama, Coach, Tabo Sinong, Assistant Coach, Freddy Kumar Baktawa, Goalkeeper Coach, Simone Conley, Fitness Coach, Football Women. Roxanne Barker, Amanda Lamini, Andile Lamini, Refilwe Jane, Bambanani Mbane, Mamelo Makabane, Stephanie Malherba, Noko Mato, Sana Mullo, Robin Mudali, Linda Mutalo, Octavia Nogwanya, Nompumelelo Nyande, Lebuhang Ramalebi, Jermaine Sioposinwe, Leandra Smida, Janine Van Veik, Notando Vilagazi, Barney Kujane, Manager, Vera Pau, Head Coach, Desiree Ellis, assistant coach. Francis Chansa, goalkeeper coach. And Shalene Boysen, video analyst. Golf. Paula Reto. Dion Flowers, caddy. Ashley Simon. David Buhai, caddy. Brandon Stowe. 
Simmons, Caddy. Yaku Fangzail. Jason Reynolds, Caddy. And Gary Player, Manager. Gymnastics Artistic. Ryan Patterson. Jonathan Okada, Manager Coach. Judo. Zach Piontek. Nikola Filipov, Manager Coach. Rowing. Kate Christovitz. Ursula Hrobler. Kirsten McCann. Leanne Purse. Vincent Breit. Lawrence Britton. Jake Green. David Hunt. Sean Keeling. John Smith. Jonathan Smith. James Thompson. Roger Barrow, Manager Head Coach. Andrew Grant, Coach. And Paul Jackson, Coach. Rugby Sevens. Cecil Africa. Timothy Agaba. Kyle Brown. Juan de Jong. Justin Hadult. Werner Koch. Cheslin Colby. Dylan Sage. Siabelo Sinatra. Alberta Smith. Philippus Sneiman. Roscoe Speckman. Ashley Evert, manager. Neil Powell, coach. Renfred Dazel, assistant coach. And Alan Temple Jones, assistant coach. Sailing. Stefano Marcia. Asenati Jim. Roger Hudson. Brevin Thompson, manager coach. Triathlon. Jillian Sanders. Mari Rabi. Richard Murray. Henry Skuma. Kate Roberts, manager coach. And Lindsay Parry, coach. Medical staff. Kevin Suban, Chief Medical Officer. Danielle Lincoln, Doctor. Paul Mapoto, Doctor. Karen Schwab, Doctor. Grace Hughes, Chief Physiotherapist. Hugh Everson, Physiotherapist. Ashley Hansen, Physiotherapist. Colin Hill, Physiotherapist. Avilash Lukan, Physiotherapist. Sergeant Morta, Physiotherapist. Hendrik Maria, Physiotherapist. Rannu Wanzeke, Physiotherapist. Eva Ramashala, Physiotherapist. And Sandhya Silal, Physiotherapist. Congratulations to every member of Team South Africa. We know you will make us proud in Rio. Sascock would also like to acknowledge the contribution of our valued Olympic Games sponsors. Your support allows our sports stars to shine on the biggest stage in the world. And in a first for Team SA, Sascock provides the public an opportunity to be part of the team at the touch of a button with the launch of the Team SA Rise app. Download the app to get insights into each athlete, up-to-the-minute schedules and results, or post messages of support to the team while they're in Rio. The Team SA Rise app is available across all platforms. Download it now to check out the members of the SA Olympic team on your smartphone or tablet. Team SA Rise!
biggest concern, of course, is that the whole medical team of South Africa is in Rio, precisely because we don't want anybody to complain and say, ah, I was not looked after medically. Well done, Subban. Now, for you to understand what is the app all about, it took us some time. Uh, we, we worked on this because we wanted every South African just to be clear. But the lady to explain that to you, Ms. Jean Kelly. Thank you, President. Good morning, everybody. Um, just very briefly to take you through that presentation, I think that it uh, just about said uh, everything that is going to be within that app. But the app will be available on the Google Play Shop within the next 24 hours, as well as in the iOS Apple Store within the next few days. The app will constantly be updated with various information, team profiles, news, photos, schedules, results, so it constantly will be changing, so please take note of that. The Paralympic Games aspect will go live on the 19th of July when the Paralympic team is announced as well. So we hope you download it, enjoy it, and start using it. There are youngsters at home who can help you with this if you are in my age group. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it uh, now gives me pleasure um, to announce our chef de mission. And before I do that, let me, let me just remind you what happened in, uh, in Glasgow with the Australian team. Suddenly there was some misunderstanding between coach and athlete and uh, the team management had to take a serious decision about what to do because these things happen. And if your seniority in your team is suspect, you are going to have these kind of problems. So our wisdom has been that we take the toughest, toughest administrators to the games. Because the most important thing is that we have to support our athletes. We have to make sure that we understand what they want and we can talk to them. So we then decided that the man who's been running around since London, putting it all together, working with the team here at Suscock and ensuring that everybody understands how to march according to the music that is, that is playing. We asked Mr. Tabi Reddy to lead this team, so of chef the mission, Mr. Tabi Reddy. <laughs> Mr. Reddy, the entire country asked me to tell you one thing. And that is, you've got a job to do. All our people that we send out are not given cameras for a specific reason, because they're not tourists. Anyone on that management team who think he or she is a tourist, you've got it all wrong. And members of the media, you have seen it in London, and you have seen it in Glasgow. If you go into our medical center, those physios and doctors work into the early morning of the day, precisely because we want to see that. And to ensure that that is well coordinated and managed, we have to take the senior, senior person in the organization to make that possible. So congratulations, Mr. Taberet. The next thing is not the flag bearer. We'll have to come to our dinner. You want to hear the flag bearer? No, come to the dinner. So that name will not be announced here. It will be announced at the, at the dinner. And the reason why I don't have the name because I don't know who it is. But the one thing I can tell you now, there are incentives. People are going to get money as they perform. For the individual medal winner, there is 500,000 on the table. 
400,000 will go to the athlete and the person and the people behind the scenes, the coaches, the coach get 100,000. Gold medal, so please all of you, make your coach happy. Go for gold. No? If it's silver, it's 250,000. 250,000, 200,000 goes to the athlete and 50,000 to the coach. Now remember this is in, in uh, able and Paralympics. Bronze is 100,000, uh, 80,000 to the athlete and 20,000 to the coach. Well, in team events, uh, Mr. Colby, we will not be able to give every seventh player 500,000. But the 500,000 is there for you guys. I mean, you guys, uh, money is, by the way, not so many jets. <laughs> money is by the way. But for the team, there's your 500, you decide, uh, you take the 400 and keep that and give, uh, I'm talking to you now as if you've got the gold. Because, Tabi, are they, did you say something else to them? Yeah, okay. So you'll get your 400, and Neil will get the 100. Okay? That's gold now. I can't talk to you about silver. That's for other people that I'm now talking to. The silver will be 250 and 200 for the athlete. That's the same in the relay. Now, sometimes people will ask us questions. Yeah, but there were six in the relay. No, no, there were four will get the medal around there, the next. Not so. So what we say is that it is between that team and their coach as to what they want to do. All we say is that if they get gold, that's 500. 100 goes to the coach. Bronze is 100,000. We're now talking team. And I'm sure the sevens don't, they, they, you know, they don't look onto those kind of monies. 80,000 for the team and, and 20,000. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tried our best. Those of you who wrote about Suscock and um, all our challenges, you will be aware that at some point we were wondering whether we will ever have these incentives. But thanks once again, I must say that, thank once again to all our sponsors who really came forward, uh, the National Lotteries Commission, uh, Telcom, Sport Recreation South Africa, Solid never forget Olympic Solidarity, the people from the IOC, um, uh, Discovery Health has now joined us, and, and to all of you, thank you very much for what we have done. That ends my story, and I give over to the lady who carries the whole thing. Thank you very much. Another big round of applause, colleagues, for the team that has been announced. Let me now request our government, which always provides us with support and ensures that as we prepare and when we go to the games with the best team, with whatever support that we need. May I now call upon our Honorable Deputy Minister, Wumkher Tostezen, Atobu Adirona. Over to you, Ntati. Thank you, uh, Program Director. To President Gideon Sam, I want to share with the media this. I've asked uh, the President now when he came to sit down, uh, how much do you have in the kitty? Because I think the gold is going to come back to our country. And he was laughing, but I'm confident we'll bring it back. Mr. President, Gideon Sam, uh, the Deputy and the Vice Presidents, uh, Mr. Sam Ram Sami, member of the IOC, uh, I see here the Ambassador from Brazil. Thank you, Your Excellency, for gracing us, Your Honor, Honor us with the presence. Uh, Tabi Reddy, congratulations, CEO, on your announcement as a chef de mission. We are very happy with your appointment. Uh, we know you very well, and we know you'll play the tune, and they'll dance the waltz according to that. So we're looking forward to that. 
and uh, members of the media, thanks for your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's really a pleasure to, on behalf of government and the Department of Sport and Recreation, deliver a message of support here at the announcement of Team South Africa, who will be participating in Rio 2016. Allow me to, on behalf not only of the government, but also the Ministry of Sport and Recreation, uh, take this opportunity to firstly have to congratulate each and every one of our athletes that qualified to participate in the Olympic Games. Well done on meeting the stiff qualification criteria of the Olympic Committee for your respective sports. It's indeed an little achievement, and we really trust that you will celebrate with the entire country today upon the announcement of our team South Africa. We acknowledge and appreciate the athletes' finesse, your expertise, your prowess in your specific discipline of sport. Allow me to sincerely express how proud we are as the government and the ministry of Team South Africa today. You must know now, going forward, focus your minds and your bodies on participating in the Games. It is the capstone experience for every athlete to participate in the Olympic Games, let alone to medal at the Games. We trust that you as the athletes will know that the entire country is united behind you. We are, in fact, as excited as you are. I'm certain that the incentives for meddling, Mr. President, at the Games will further inspire you and the athletes to give of your very best. But remember one thing, you are ambassadors of our country, South Africa, and your conduct, both on and off the field of competition, has to be absolutely exemplary. You must visualize winning, as from now going forward, your event, but do so ethically, please. Team South Africa, to our view, you are true stars. So go out there, go and represent our country with pride and with excellence that we know you will. Let me just say something. You, as Team South Africa, assist us to unite the nation as we celebrate this announcement of our team going to fly the flag of our country in Rio de Janeiro. We are with further proud that it happened so, Mr. President, in the month where we, on the 18th of July, will celebrate the birthday of the father of our nation, Nelson Dorislasla Mandela. So when you go there, you go as one team representing one nation. Go there, bring back the gold to this wonderful country where we believe it belongs. And yes, we are looking forward to finally say bon voyage to you very soon when you depart. But as for now, you are, you are carrying with you the hopes and the aspirations of the entire nation. Go out there, make us proud because we are a great people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honourable uh, Deputy Minister. Uh, one thing that I can say to you about... Well, we've just heard the Deputy Minister of Sports and Recreation, uh, Mr. Gerg, who stays in there congratulating the team that has been announced and emphasizing the importance of the country uniting behind the athletes that have been announced, uh, hoping that the team does well at Rio and bagging those medals. The target there, expecting at least 10 medals there. A team of 138 athletes has been announced uh, this morning here in Johannesburg at Sascock House. And currently I'm standing here with our in-house sports analyst, Jody Hendricks, uh, to analyze the team that has uh, been announced. Good morning, Jody, and thanks for joining us. Lebo, thanks for having me. What do you make of the team? I think it's a very good team. If you look at uh, former years, 2008, when there was a lot of pressure on the team to do well, we came back with one medal, Khotsu Makwena, who's in this team as well. Uh, we did a bit better in London in 2012. Uh, we came back with six medals. Uh, Euro um, um, Rio 2016, I think 138 athletes We, I think, realistically, at a given, we can say 10, 10 medals is a given for Team South Africa. Anything more will be a bonus. If we look at some of the players or the athletes selected, I think the individual athletes, I think there's a few names that stand out. Chad Leclo, a former winner, Wade van Nikerk, a lot of pressure on him, the current world champion, to do well. If we look in the team, I'm a bit surprised at the sevens where Brian Abana wasn't included. I know that it was definitely one of his goals to be, go to the Olympics. Unfortunately, the sevens team did not include him, and I thought that could be a loss for them. Uh, the team that has been announced, you just mentioned the surprise there. Maybe a surprise inclusion? Uh, 
Uh, well, I think uh, the both um, the husband and wife um, couple of Irvet and Elia van Sale. I know Elia didn't do too well this year. Um, he did well in Europe, but in South Africa he didn't perform. So I was a bit surprised at his inclusion. Um, I think also from my knowledge they will be one of only two husband and wives to compete at the Olympics. So Elia van Sale for me is a bit of a surprise, the 400 meter hurdle athlete. Um, I think Cornel Fredericks, another exclusion um, that could, could have gone to the Olympics, but he's not there. Um, I know he's been struggling with the injury of late. I know that uh, in most cases we focus on individual athletes. Maybe looking at the team sports, which other team sports do you think maybe they could do well at the Rio? Well, the soccer team I see in Tumalin Kune has been included. That's, uh, I don't think he's under 23 anymore, but obviously they're allowed to select five players over the age of 23. So I think he'd be one to prove a point again. Obviously, um, Chiefs didn't have a good season, and this is an opportunity for him to make his mark at the international tournament. We all know what a fantastic goalkeeper he is. Um, and then also Banyana Banyana, I think Janine van Veik um, and Amandla Damini, they'll will be out to prove a point at international stage. Obviously, also take into consideration that football for women and men, uh, women play a lot of they play a lot of the time on artificial pitches, so that might be a, a problem for them. But um, I'm really excited to see. Obviously, our men's team, the first game is against the host, Brazil, and we all know what happened in 2000 uh, at the Sydney Olympics. Benny McCarthy. Um, Quentin Fortune, they, they were uh, playing in that game when they actually beat Brazil. But at Brazil, in Brazil, might be a different uh, ball game altogether. Jody, thank you very much for that analysis. And that was our in-house sports analyst, Jody Hendricks, giving, giving us his uh, analysis of the team that has been announced. Well, Tabiso Stole is standing by there with his Kelsey Peng, and I think the focus will be on the athletics. Thank you very much, the label world to our viewers at home. You're still watching SABC News Channel 404. We're coming live from you, well, to you rather, from Melrose and, well, Johannesburg North, if you want to call it that, central Johannesburg. I'm now speaking to Zekel Sepeng Zika, former, well, former world champion, former Olympian, former everything as far as the legs are concerned. He's now at Athletic South Africa. Zeke, we've heard the names that came through today. A huge squad of athletes, of, of from the athletic side anyway. Um, happiness as far as you're concerned from the athletic side? Yeah, no, we, we're happy. That's a huge squad. And uh, we've seen athletes uh, did very well, you know, to achieve uh, the standard. And uh, yeah, we're happy with the team here. I mean, I'm looking at some of the names that came through. It, it looks like that we were speaking about, uh, you know, a relay team. We were speaking about uh, hurdlers. All of a sudden, you know, we've got these athletes are popping up out of every nook and cranny. But most importantly, it seems that somehow South Africa is producing sprinters and we saw there, we could we send how much chances as far as, as let's say the sprinting contingents concerned. We saw the likes of Vanasa, we saw the likes of uh, you know uh, Wade. Wade is running. I mean, most yeah. of our athletes are running sub tens this year. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. The sprinting has improved. You know, as you're saying, uh, Tabi. So in the past, we were depending on the middle distance and 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 the field events uh, uh, like the high jump with history, uh, uh, the discus with Franz Kruger. But uh, uh, this nowadays now we're depending on sprinting. We see Wade and also. Uh, we've got a few guys, and uh, you, if you've seen the, 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 the team also, uh, we still got the young guys, the two 18 year olds, uh, uh, Clarence Munyai and uh, Gift Lot Lella, they're in the team also, yeah. I mean, also interestingly, the long jump or the jumping uh, squad as well. Interesting there, the old man, Jose Mukwena, going for his fourth Olympics, if, I, if, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's got a young couple of youngsters pushing behind him, which makes all good for South Africa if you've got these, uh, uh, you know, young kids pushing uh, the old man, so to speak. Yeah, no, it, it, it's, it's also kind of uh, uh, looking f forward to the 2020. You know, these are young athletes that are 18, 20. You know, this is part of also a preparation for them for 2020. They will go there and compete, obviously. But uh, they will gain experience. Come 2020, they will be uh, uh, ready and, and, and prepared for this game. So Kotsov for his fourth uh, Olympic Games, which is it's great for him. You know, he's been there. He's done good for South Africa. And yeah, I wish him uh, 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 good luck and then hopefully he will do good. We were speaking earlier with uh, Dr. Sam Rem Sammy, who's you know who's the star watch as far as Olympics in, uh, in South Africa is concerned, and he mentioned a, a, an important year in South African Olympics, 1996. You were part of that team, Atlanta. Take us through those years. I mean, uh, Ezekiel, that silver medal. I mean, everything. When you Google South Africa Olympics, Ezekiel Ilana Mayer are one of the people that will actually pop in through, in as far as that is concerned. And I believe my director says we're actually looking at your picture right now. <laughs> yeah, look, it's it, it's been 20 years. Uh, uh, there's 20 years of celebration, if we can uh, uh, call it. And uh, you know, I'm very proud, you know, to have done what I've done. And 1996 was 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 a great year for me, great year for South Africa. You know, uh, it was my first Olympic Games going in there. You know, I I never expected. You know, and and that's the attitude. 
that I, I, I'm sending out to, to the young athletes, you know, do not underestimate yourself, you know. If you feel good, you've got a chance. I was there, the first Olympic Games, 22 years old, and I got there and I won the medal. You know, at my first Olympic Games, and and, and as I always said, you know, uh, maybe tomorrow will never come. So, so when you go there, don't think about uh, uh, 2020, don't think about uh, the following year. Just go there and do your best on the day, and and, and things will happen. Yeah. Now, no, not putting any pressure from as far as athletics is concerned, both track and field prospects of medal. I know between yourself and swimming uh, and the aquatics team, there's always that good rivalry. Um, your medal prospects. Yeah, look, it's, it's, we've got uh, athletes that have done well last year based on that, on the competition uh, from last year at World Champs, Wade, Anaso, uh, Sunet Fulyun, uh, now with uh, Kasta Semenya and uh, Rashwal Samai, probably, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's about three medals. It's possible for us here. Yeah. Ezekiel mm -hmm. Sepeng, former South African champs, former world champ, former Olympic uh, silver medalist. Thank you very much for speaking to us right here on SABC Thanks, News. Sir. And we're going to hand you over to Lebohang Dubele, who is standing by with another team who will be making, well, their second appearance at the Olympic Games this round, well, in Rio. Lebohang Dubele is standing by with the team manager of the Banyana Banyana team. Lebo, over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tabiso. And indeed, I'm standing here with the team manager of the national under-23 side, uh, Levi Ramaju. Indeed, as you mentioned, Tabiso, that this is the second time that the team will be uh, participating or competing uh, at the Olympics. The first time it was in 2000 under the guidance of Sheikh Mashaba. And this time around under the guidance of Owen Dagama, who's been working very closely with Sheikh Mashaba as his assistant uh, in the Babfana Fana national setup. Now, uh, Levi... The team has been announced. Uh, we've seen the inclusion of Itmelin Kune and Eric Matoho, and we know that uh, those are the two over-age uh, players, and uh, some would question why the inclusion of the two after the team has done well without them in the team. Oh, yes. No, thank you very much. Uh, we must remember that uh, the rules allow all qualified national team to uh, to include uh, three overage players and their experience you must remember as well that the Kuna has been the captain of the national team is a role model to the current and the three players i think his experience and talent will all, will also contribute a lot in our team so we were supposed to announce uh, three overseas uh, over uh, over over each players. Unfortunately, Jalu didn't manage to get him due to uh, club. Uh, you know, they told us this is not a, a FIFA date. We've seen uh, in the past couple of months that the team has been participating a lot. Uh, they've been uh, to Kosafa representing the team as Bafana Fana. Recently, you were in Japan, so preparations have been already underway. What do you have? What do you make of the team's preparation so far? Yeah, you know, we just want to thank Safa, you know, uh, especially for giving us that opportunity to use the under 23 for Kosafa and play few international. Remember, before Japan, we played Brazil the host. So I think it was a good uh, experience for all the players, especially those who were new, those who never participated in international football. You, you remember. Some of the players, they just mushroomed. They never participate in our qualifiers. So it was a good experience for all of the players. Looking at the team complement, uh, we can, we have, we've seen uh, some overseas-based players, but uh, we have seen recently Lebohan Piri being part of the team, but unfortunately he wasn't announced. What, what, what happened then? Oh, yes. You know, we started to engage all, all, all pertinent clubs, all concerned clubs about the release of the players. And they promised us that they will release the players, uh, you know. But unfortunately, closer to the announcement, they told us that most of their players are injured, most of their players are, are not available. Then they told because it's not FIFA date, they cannot release the players. But we tried our best to persuade them. Levi, unfortunately, I have to end it there, but uh, good luck uh, as you embark on your journey in Rio. For the second time, the team, the national team, will be uh, competing at the Olympics, and that was uh, under-23 national uh, team manager there talking to us and giving us, um, you know, the insights of the team and the selection. I'm now going to hand over to Tabi Sowei, standing by with Gideon Sam. Thank you very much, Taleb. Well, we continue our live broadcast right here from Sasko House in Melrose in Johannesburg. I'm now speaking to... The big man in charge, I like to call him that, El Presidente, Mr. Gideon Sam. Thank you very much for joining us uh, on SABC News Channel. We've been live basically from the beginning to where we are now. It's a big day in South African sports. It's a big day in every sports person's heart and mind. Uh, Team South Africa, we know who they are now. They're going to fly their flag high. Oh, definitely. You know, anyone, everyone who is in this team now knows what is expected from them. And I think from our side as, uh, as, as management, we have done as much as we can. 
Uh, we started off uh, by building on what we learned in, in London. And we took it for, through the four years that it will now culminate in, in Rio. And we are confident, you know, that we are on a better wicket. Uh, we have done as much as we possibly uh, uh, could uh, to ensure that the athletes have been given that support. We've worked very closely to the, with the federations, and the federations are now also comfortable that, you know, they got the support. And all that is now left is for the athlete to arrive. They must arrive on the day of the, of the competition and do this country proud. And I think it's going to happen because the, the vibe around, you go to every place where they are preparing and you can see that they are confident. They are confident in rugby, they are confident in, in rowing, they are confident in, in badminton. They've, they've, they've done whatever uh, is expected from them by qualifying through the diff and tough criteria that we have set for them. And here they are, a big team, bigger than London, and we are comfortable with that. Um, so, uh, Sam, we, we, we have to go back to the studio quickly because we're top of the hour. But we look at uh, something like this. I mean, like again, it is, it is Olympic here. Um, this team is now set. Um, through all the headaches, a lot of people are saying, ah, oh, Saskia got too tough in qualifiers. There we've made it. In fact, we've got a bigger team now than we, we've taken past. But your qualification standards have been stringent. Very stringent. And I think it's, it's, it's beginning to deliver the results now. This is what we want to see. That when you, when you announce a team, you have no doubts about, is, is this the right person? The Federation has worked, cooperated with us, and you can see that, you know, these are the best of the best. If there's somebody out there, that person is injured. A person who's not in this team now is a person who is injured, or a person who has uh, retired. Uh, but, but the best of the best in South Africa is here. Yeah. And I'm comfortable with that. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Gideon Sam, President of Saskatchewan, speaking to us live from uh, the oh, Saskatchewan House. I'm not, I know we're going to take a quick break on SABC News Channel, but you'll come back a bit later. Huge surprises. We, we have the name Gary Player. He's part of the squad. He's in charge of the golf team. Also, Douglas Ryder, currently the principal of Team Dimension Data, South Africa's team riding at the Tour de France. He's also part of this Olympic team. So do come back to us after this quick break. There's plenty more to chat about. Over to you in studio. That will be um, doing the triple jump. You did it in 2004 in, uh, in Athens. This is your second time. What do you make of, of Rio? No, I think Rio is going to be great. Um, the fact that uh, the last time I did triple jump at, at the big, big, big major championships, such as Olympic Games, was 2004 in Athens, uh, my first Olympic Games. Now I'm back at it again, and uh, I hope that uh, I can break my national record. It would be great for you to, to get another medal. Uh, we know that you have one uh, with the long jump, and uh, obviously.